The East Carolina Pirates had a really fun season under Mike Houston last year. Their post-game win expectancy said that they should have been 5.67 and 6.33, which really would have been around five, uh, 6 and 6 somewhere. They went 7 and 5, so that was good. Uh, 7, 4, and 1 against the spread. Their projected SP plus record this year is 5 and 7. Now, you know, you would kind of think with their starting quarterback coming back and both coordinators coming back that you should see improvement from 7 and 5. Uh, returning production, you know, number 43 in FPS, uh, FBS, excuse me, they uh, they bring back 68%. Um, three starters back on the offensive line. The transfers they brought in look really, really talented. The quarterback, Holton Aylers, was number 70 in QBR in 2021. Um, he was number 19 in yards per game, though. So even though the QBR wasn't great, he, he still flung the ball a lot. Uh, the wide receiver situation. They're going to rely on three transfers to go along with wide receiver C.J. Robin or excuse me, C.J. Johnson, uh, and that's if he's back. Like he he had to go through some stuff in the spring. He's been suspended. Um, I would imagine he'll be back. He's really talented, and, and we all know uh, if your talent outweighs your problems, you're probably going to be on the on the team. Um, and then the defense. Basically, everybody on the defensive line was a freshman or sophomore last year. Seven guys with 200 plus snaps return. Defensive end Smith and Hickman. Uh, that run defense should improve from number 65 in rushing success rate. Uh, the linebackers look strong. DBs returned seven players, including one transfer uh, with more than 200 snaps. Secondary was number 27 in defensive passing success rate. Uh, that That's good. They have got to figure out what's going on with the explosive plays on the defense. Uh, number 115 in the country in defensive explosive play rate allowed. That's not good. Uh, give me your thoughts here. I mean, I've got them at six and six. I'm curious uh, what you think about about Mike Houston and the Pirates. Uh, I think Mike Houston's a good coach. I think they're a good team. I think the schedule breaks down real tough for them. It's um, it's really you know, good adding, early and really bad late. Adding adding BYU to it just mm, that's a that's a that's a rough one. Yes, I uh, I think I think they're going to be five and seven. And I kind of wanted to make them four and eight. I could understand that. Uh, I've made them six and six, and and I only made them six and six because I, I, I really believe that Mike Houston is a really good coach, and I think one of these games where they are not favored, they are going to find a way to um, find a way to get a win. You know, you got a senior quarterback there uh, that has been through all of the fires. He has been the starter for at least the last two seasons, and I think it's three seasons. Um, He's been around for a long time. You know, they've got a good running back, Keaton Mitchell. Uh, their offensive line, like I said, really good. Um, you know, my keys to the season here, there were a lot of ways that last season could have gone way better or way worse. They were 4-3 and three in one-score games. And like I said, their post-game win expectancy saw them as a 5.67 win team. Uh, if you let that young defense continue to develop, like they, they have 17 players back that played over 200 snaps. Like, that is really, really good. And we know Mike Houston is a fantastic coach. Roster building continues here. Um, they are number 64 in roster strength right now. That's higher than they've been in a long time. Number 36 on offense, number 100 in defense. But uh, but again, the defense, a lot of experience. I would expect that number to improve uh, more so than the talent, right? So I, I've i got them at 6-6. Six and six. I, I could see them making a bowl game, but hey, you're right. I mean, that non-conference schedule is brutal uh, they got to play Memphis, UCF, at BYU, at Cincinnati, and Houston. All, you know, five in a row. Like, that is almost impossible for a team yeah, that does not have the talent. So, yeah. yeah uh, They're going to be outmatched in all of those games. Exactly. And and then you got to hope that they win all the games where they outmatch the other team. Exactly. Uh, and then NC State is who they open with. So, yes. <laughs> I mean, it's just brutal. It's absolutely brutal. Not impossible for them to pull off an upset. We see it all the time in college football. Yeah, but it's just not like it's just not likely. No, you're you're a hundred percent right on that. Hundred percent right. It is not likely, but uh, but we'll see. I got I got a little bit of faith in Mike Houston here. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.